In this video, we're going to be discussing my final theory and explanation for how Boruto will be revived. The theory is that Boruto will be revived through the Jogan. Before I address the league shown in the thumbnail and others that will appear in the video, let's first dive into the history of the Jogan. The Jogan was first introduced to us by Tenori, who was the catalyst for Boruto being able to use the Jogan in the anime. The Jogan is a unique dojutsu that is only known by Otsutsukis. Whenever Notsusuki sees the Jogan, he states that it is a troublesome eye and a potential threat. The Jogan is a very different dojutsu, as it is different from dojutsus like the Sharingan and the Byakugan. Some may claim that the Jogan is not a combat dojutsu, but when Boruto used the Jogan versus Urishiki and Nue, it was very useful. But what we can see at the current moment is that the Jogan is not a dojutsu that is acquired through some type of training or through an emotional experience, like the Sharingan. The Jogan in the anime is usually awakened in a time of need, quite similar to what Goku said to Gohan about Super Saiyan, as he said that Super Saiyan responds to a need, not a desire. When Boruto awakened the Jogan versus Nue, he needed to see Nue's chakra flow in order to beat him. So, through that need, he was able to see Nue's chakra flow and see the exact spot which he had to hit to defeat him. This is the same with Urashiki as Boruto awakened the Jogan and was able to see his dimensional shift and predict where he would move next. And we can all agree that Boruto is currently in a time of drastic need as he is about to die. In my last video, I made a theory saying that Amado has planned everything out. But the one thing that Amado is not aware of is that Boruto has the Jogan, which is very important and I believe that the Jogan will destroy Amado's plan. In addition, would it, Momoshiki be aware of the fact that Boruto was transferring his karma to a cyborg? So they wouldn't really make sense for Momoshiki to have not planned something else if this was really going to happen. So now the question is, how does the Jogan fit into the storyline? So what is most likely going to happen is that Momoshiki is going to have a conversation with Boruto where we will learn more about the Jogan and other Otsutsukis and this is where everything goes crazy as through the help of my friend Boruto Pix we have been able to find some leaks about what is possibly going to happen remember take these leaks with a grain of salt as nothing is confirmed so with the leak that you can see right here it translates to their happiness will not continue to last there are still others who will destroy this tainted planet this is very interesting and raises a lot of questions some may say that this is fake and you definitely have the right to believe so but i will only be using this as a way to discuss possible theories if you continue to dissect this panel we will see that borto is in his pajamas meaning that all of this is happening in his consciousness or in his mind remember the jogan is highly connected with dimensions afterlife and the dead which would explain how Boruto will get revived. But if we take a closer look, we can see that there are two Otsutsukis. One of them has the Jogan, and the other has the Byakugan. This is how I believe that the author will introduce the Jogan and the origin of the Otsutsukis, as I believe that Momoshiki will explain the history of the Otsutsukis. Now, the last question is, how will Boruto be revived? So what I believe will happen is that Boruto will train in the spirit world, or a different dimension, or even in his mind through the help of Momoshiki. In this time frame, he will learn about the Jogan and its abilities. Perhaps he may not fully master it, but he will get a certain amount of skill which will allow him to be revived to its abilities. Which is where Momoshiki and Borta may strike up a deal, as Momoshiki definitely doesn't want to die, and Borta will definitely want to come back to life as he wants to protect his family from the other Otsutsukis that will possibly arrive. However, there could be a different interpretation from the words of Momoshiki, as the way he speaks could mean that he is potentially dead. He says their happiness will not last. Why would they be so happy? Maybe they are happy that they defeated Momoshiki, which is why he says others will come and destroy this tainted planet. Meaning that, like they did with Kaguya, where Kaguya died and Momoshiki came, this could be the same with Bomoshiki being dead and other Utsutsukis come to this planet to cultivate the chakra fruits and find out what exactly happened. This would explain why Boruto and Kawaki are fighting 
as Kawaki has his own beliefs and ideologies of the steps they could take to protect the village, while Borto will probably disagree with that ideology and would want to follow his own path. This is also backed up by the history of the Jogan, as it appears in a time with two emperors. One emperor is Borto with his Jogan, and the other is Kawaki. Remember, Borto has two destinies, one where he saves the world with his Jogan, and the other where he loses everything because of his eyes. So now, what path will Borto take? What exactly is Amado planning? Watch this video right here where I discuss exactly what Amado has been planning this whole time.